Hey guys, welcome to episode number 70 of OG Toys. I'm OG. Today we're taking a look at a fan requested set of figures for review. That's right, we did the collection review showcase of some of the stuff I got on display. And I put a comment out to everyone if you're interested in seeing anything that in my collection reviewed, send me a shout out and I'll do it for you. Well, here we go. One of my viewers, Darth Hawkeye22, requested these two guys. So, here you go. We're taking a look at DC Universe Red Arrow and Green Arrow from Wave 20. And Wave 20 had a lot of good figures. You got Hawk and Dove, Reverse Flash, White Flash, Sinestro, these two guys. And they built up the impressive Necron figure from Blackest Night. So, we got these two guys here. Now, they didn't come with any stands. So, I just added the stands for my DC Direct collection just so they can stand. Unfortunately, the only thing they come with is a couple uh, couple bows and arrows and oh, a limb here or there, and that's it. I got these at Walmart for about $19.99 a figure. These guys are really expensive here in Canada. Comic shops, you're looking about $25 to $27 for one figure, which is way too much money in my opinion. These guys, $19, yeah, I can sort of okay not too bad a price because the figures are really well done and there are two characters that I've liked for a definite long time Green Arrow is finally getting his own TV show it'll be on this fall in CW and it looks really impressive and uh, I just love the way these two guys are styled. Let's take a look at Green Arrow first let's move Red Arrow out of the way new costume based on his designs from uh, Brightest day, actually, not 52. The 52 costume is slightly different, but essentially, you get your classic green arrow with a lot of cool sculpted on features. He does have the bow here, which I'll show you in a little more detail. Kind of a simplistic bow. I mean, he has an arrow attached, no paint apps, no real definition to it, and uh, that's it. Doesn't come out, the arrow doesn't come out. Just a standard looking arrow. Does its job though, but I would have expected something a little better. You know, you can already see the bends in the plastic here. It's a very thin, soft plastic. So, not too impressed there, but the, what is impressive is the actual action figure. And they did a great job in the sculpt. Really nice face sculpt. It captures the essence of them. The hood isn't removable, so that sucks. But. The face is just fantastic. They did a great job on his little goatee and his mustache. The sculpted details on the tunic look really good. You can see it's like the binding up of the cloth. It's got some pouches. It's got a knife on the back here. Doesn't come out though. The quiver, non removable as well. No arrows come out. He does have some sculpted details on his gauntlet. You can see there he's got a couple of arrows right there. And on this side as well. Some more pouches here, and that's about it. Of course, these guys are crazy articulated. It does make a bit of a noise because of this soft rubber material for uh, his waist here, his little uh, tunic that extends further down. But he's got ball jointed head, not too bad a range of motion. He's got a ball joint, or excuse me, a uh, ab crunch waist articulation, ball jointed arm, shoulder, he's got a cut at the bicep, he has another pin here, he's not double jointed, and he has articulation in the wrist as well with another hinge. Ball, here he has the Mattel style, it's like a T-crotch that extends out more. He has a cut right above the knee, so he can get some movement there. Pin there, and another point of articulation right there. Now the figures are pretty cool. Like I really like this character. I love the way they finally did a really cool looking version of him. The classic one was pretty cool. Held off on it though, uh, for one reason. I uh, couldn't find it anywhere in uh, in Canada at retail. I had to go into a comic shop, and I wasn't gonna pay almost thirty two bucks for a figure that if I went across the border, I could probably get for about fourteen ninety nine. So. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I just didn't bother getting it. I like my DC Direct version better. And speaking of which, I'm going to do a comparison afterwards, but I want to get on to Red Arrow. Now, Red Arrow, Roy Harper, 
He does come with a couple extra accessories. He came with a couple extra arrows, three of them actually. A couple trick arrows. I'm not really sure what any of them do, but use your imagination. Got a stand that, of course, is DC Direct. Didn't come with a stand whatsoever. And it's pretty much the exact same bone arrow combination as a green arrow. We can take a look here. It's identical. This one's a bit sturdier. This one doesn't have, uh, this one has quite a bit of bend here, which is unfortunate. This one seems a lot more stiff. Now, the figure itself, you know, you can get him in a cool pose. You can actually hold the arrow coming out of the bow. You see his hand is in this cramped up position holding that arrow and ready to launch. But unfortunately, if you don't have it, he does look all freaking cramped up. The face sculpt is really well done. It just captures the look of him from the comic book, the, uh, you know, the, from the Teen Titans. There's an artist named Tom Grummet that just captures this look perfectly. He looks really good. He did a great job on him. Of course, he's got the very similar classic Green Arrow outfit, just in red and uh, a kind of a burgundy color as well. If you take a look on the back, he does have the full quiver. I assume, I don't have the figure, but it looks like this is probably just a direct repaint of the classic Green Arrow that we got quite a while ago. But for the figure itself, he does have some really good articulation, which these guys are very well known for. Really tight, ball jointed head. That's about far up he can go. Going down, that's about it. Not a super lot of movement. Ball jointed shoulder, he does have a bicep cut. A single pin in the elbow. He has some wrist articulation and a 360. He has the ab crunch as well, and the waist. He has a special pivot joint right there. He's got a cut at the thigh above the knee. He's got articulation in the knee as well and in the ankle. So these figures are well done. I really like the way they look. The articulation is awesome. And you can get them in some pretty awesome poses. And they're just great looking figures capturing the essence of the DC Universe. The only thing is Canada is a little tough to find these guys and if you do find them you gotta jump on them pretty quick I got this at Walmart probably a couple months ago actually I was able to get the entire series for uh, you know about 19 bucks a figure which is still cheaper than trying to get it out of the comic store which we were looking at you know almost 26 27 bucks a figure which is just really expensive for me you know just for a regular 6 inch figure I think that's just way too much you know but what I want to do is compare it to a DC Direct now that's one of the big hurdles for me I'm a DC Direct collector I have well over 200 DC Direct figures and I have maybe 30, 35, maybe 40 tops of the DC Universe so it's tough for me to purchase a DC Universe figure when I can get a DC Direct figure cheaper better sculpt but not as articulated so it's kinda of like a swap off to want super articulated guys or do I want a really good sculpted detail? But this here is the Green Arrow from Brightest Day Series 1. And, man, this figure did come with a stand. Came with this great looking white stand from the White Lantern. The character itself looks extremely good. Perfect definition on the character. The skin tones. The paint apps, the hood is actually removable on this guy. And you got a really nice face sculpt underneath. He does come with a couple extra arrows, which can go into his quiver and are removable. Take a look at this bow. Now, the bow that he came with was terrible. I threw it away. This bow is actually from an Artemis figure from back in almost, ah, man, I'd say like 2002, maybe 2001. And I kept this bow because I freaking loved it. It's just so awesome. I thought to myself, one day I'm going to have an awesome green arrow figure. And he's going to have the best bow ever. And he does. Take a look at this thing. It's hard plastic. It actually has a thin wire there to act as the string, which is realistic. And it's just fantastic. And this figure, take a look at it got an awesome sculpt all over the place here the pouches the you know the stressed out look of this the fabric 
his boots, his gauntlets, has some arrows there too. So we compare in the two and the face sculpt as well. That face sculpt is dead on to Green Arrow. Like it is perfect. So when I got this guy for fourteen ninety nine in my comic shop, this guy you had to pay twenty bucks and height difference huge. Articulation, yeah, this guy's a little better, but you know what? This guy is just this is how Green Arrow, in my opinion. <laughs> should look. So, I did buy this version because I do like the character a lot, and I love the tunic, I love the outfit, but this is the way, if you're collecting, for me, is to go this route. Better pricing, not as articulated, but man, the sculpt is what I'm all about, and this looks awesome on my display shelf. So there you go, guys. I got you a review here for Green Arrow and Red Arrow, and another Green Arrow from DC Direct. Make up your decision, you know, if you want, get all of them. Nothing's holding you. But unfortunately, DC Universe has come to an end. For now, it's on a hiatus. They did do 20 waves, which is pretty impressive for a, a toy series these days. 20 waves. Um, they're looking at doing subscriptions on MattyCollector.com, and they're going to come out with a new rebranded DC Universe set of figures, but... Who knows what they'll be like. Um, probably just pretty much more of the same. Hopefully a little bit better articulation maybe. Some double jointed elbows and knees will be nice. But there you go guys. Hope you've enjoyed the review. And uh, we'll see you with more reviews coming soon. Take care.